Hey internet, uh, a few months ago I made a video about multi-level marketing companies or pyramid schemes and why they're bad and why I don't like them. And after that video I thought maybe it would be a good idea to get some of these bad products and actually try them myself. I've only ever seen other people's reviews and other people's criticisms because you can't really get that stuff in Finland. Uh, so I went on eBay and I ordered a bunch of stuff from LuLaRoe. Uh, before you freak out, I did not pay uh, full price for anything here. I think the most expensive thing I purchased was 12 euros, so about $15, and a lot of it is held in customs right now, <laughs> which is the irony of all ironies. I purposely tried to buy used stuff because uh, I didn't want to give the company money directly, uh, so I think most of this is used. Some of this might be new with tags, but I, I tried to not buy anything from the company directly, and what I'm going to do is take it out, look at it, and then compare it to clothes that I've bought from uh, like Finnish discount stores and H&M and other fast fashion places to see is there a real difference because LuLaRoe normally priced stuff is... Uh, it's, it's heavy, it's a lot. So let's start by opening this thing and I don't remember even what I got. I know a lot of these are mystery color. So I picked the size and then the color of the garment is a mystery. Oh, okay. Now that's a pattern. What are these even? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's Christmas. These are leggings, I guess. And the tag says Lularo. Yeah. So, the big comment I've heard about these online is that they are super, 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 super soft. And that's why LuLaRoe's leggings are the best leggings ever, because they're so soft. Uh, feeling them right out of the box or bag? Yes, these are definitely soft. Um, they're definitely soft leggings. They feel a lot like pajamas. Um, and they also feel like... I was just in Tokmani two weeks ago, which is a Finnish, uh, it's like a Finnish department store, but not like a department department store. It reminds me of like, for the Americans out there, the old Americans out there, it's like Ames. I don't actually know what the American equivalent is. It's like Dollar General, but not as cheap, um, but not as nice as like a Walmart. Not that Walmart is nice, but you know what I mean. It's like just like one of those kind of departmenty places. And these feel exactly like a pair of uh, Tokmanni leggings that I had found, like to a T. The print is different, um, but that's about it. So these retail for, we're gonna edit this part out because I have to Google how much LuLaRoe leggings retail for. So according to this infographic I found on Pinterest, these leggings retail for $25. Uh, why? <laughs> they feel sturdy enough, like I don't feel like I'm gonna rip it. I feel like this elastic part up here would get uh, worn out very quickly, and I also worry about this band kind of creating some lumpage maybe. Um, I'm also curious how these are one size. These claim to fit anyone from a double zero to a size 14, which I think, I don't know what size I am because my hips are ginormous, but I'm small everywhere else. So I'm actually going to try these on and see how they compare to my seven euro or nine slash ten dollar talk money leggings that are just as soft. So let's do a quick edit here. So I've got these on and they're pretty comfortable, I have to say, like they are really soft, um, which is nice, but this print, this print is horrible. I, I, I have no idea when I would wear this. Uh, the other thing is these are most definitely pajamas. Like these are not things you wear outside. In comparison to, uh, these are my eight euro or seven euro slash nine plus ten dollar, whatever currency is, seven euro Tokmanni leggings. And I've washed these now about 
six or seven times I've had these for a couple months. And the thing I like about these is that they're thermal-ish, so these are meant for finish winter, so they're meant to be worn when it's cold. Uh, they've held up in the wash really well. They're a solid color. When I wear these, they are shiny, but they don't look, they don't look like I'm wearing leggings. They hide under a dress pretty well, and they're a bit sparkly, but I can get away with it. I also have these in a flat black, and I have these with feet in a flat black. Uh, and these are like my go-to leggings, because they're cheap, they're easy to get, and they work. These, I'm already noticing some pulling. I just put them on and I've already got pulling in my thigh, uh, so that's not good. And I'm afraid to wash them. I'm convinced that the second I wash these, uh, they're not going to be as soft anymore. Now everybody says, or Lula Rose says, that they've got a very specific way that you're supposed to wash their leggings. And sorry, but no way, Jose. Like, this... <laughs> This, this pattern is not worth delicately separating from the rest of my laundry in order to get it to work. Uh, and because that's the thing about LuLaRoe, when, you're, when, you, when you sell for them, because uh, you're not a business owner, you're a contractor. When you're a contractor for LuLaRoe, you don't get to decide the pattern of your thing. You just say that you're, they, they say that you're going to get, you know, 20 pairs of leggings, but they don't let you decide what they look like. So you might get 20 pairs of these, and who is going to buy these? You know, I bought them just because I wanted to use them for the video, uh, but I didn't get to pick the color. I just picked a mystery color, and that was like, was it, I think these were $10. So for $10 for a mystery colored item that I'm never going to wear outside of my house, these are fine. Uh, but $25 and encouraging people to incorporate something that looks like this into their regular wardrobe, unless you're planning on doing some kind of big comfy couch cosplay, I I don't see how this is going to work, and I don't see how... There's pulling everywhere. My thighs are, like... I've had these on for five minutes, not even, and I've already got pulling, and... Ah, let's move on to the next piece of clothing before I get angry. So, let's open the next mystery parcel. I still can't believe the other ones got held up in customs. Like, I'm so angry. Maybe this is a time for the scissors. I'll probably have to do a second video when that comes in because it's, it's quite a large parcel. Oh, yeah! I can already tell that this looks like wall or carpeting on a cruise ship. 5D1. Thank you. Okay. Where do I even... Where's the... Apart. Yeah, this is cruise ship carpeting. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Yay! Wow! <laughs> Happy 20th birthday. Happy... Happy birthday! <laughs> Why are the arms so short? Look at the rest of it, then just look at the arms. Is this for like a... Is this for like the Kool-Aid man? Like, when you jump through the wall, like, oh yeah! Because he's got those tiny arms and the huge body. This has tags on it, so what does this say? Extra, extra small? <laughs> How? <laughs> How? <laughs> okay, so... This is Sabrina, my lovely assistant, and this is a child-sized mannequin. And I'm just gonna throw this extra, extra small garment on her today and see how it fits. Yep. Who would wear this? <laughs> how do you... The thing I don't understand is how are you supposed to style this? Um, this is the smallest size it comes in. So who is this for? And what body shape do you have to have that this flatters you? You know, a lot of people deal with body image issues, myself included. I have a really hard time buying clothes from a lot of places because I'm petite but chubby. Um, 
And, you know, a lot of us are dealing with, with those kind of mental struggles, but this does not help anybody. This does not do anything for body positivity at all. This is a shapeless tent. And then with tiny arms. <laughs> with extra small. Extra, extra small. So I guess this is cool if you really care what the label says and you want to be like, yeah, I'm an extra, extra small when you're clearly not supposed to be. Like, I, I, I don't understand. And then can you imagine buying this in your actual size if you normally wear a 2X and getting whatever a 2X in this thing might be? Like... That's just going to hurt people's feelings for no reason at all. Who is this for? So what is this? I, I only saw that because this text is really small. Simply comfortable. Uh, host a party. Get free skirts. Yay. <laughs> I'm going to get a free skirt, you guys. And if I remember correctly, this thing had a really weird name. I think this is called... Yeah, and all, I should mention, all of their shirts and dresses have names. They've named their clothing. Maybe they're just, like, really lonely or something. And, uh, if I remember correctly, this is called Irma, or Irma, which in British English is what you call your period. So, <laughs> is there anything right about this? I'm gonna have to try it on, aren't I? I would give this to my grandmother for Christmas, but I don't hate her. Uh, this is... What am I wearing? Uh, first of all, the arms are very tight, and I don't know why. I can manage, but like, where they connect, like what, what... I feel like if I jumped from the balcony, I would take flight and just gracefully glide to the ground. This is horrible. And it's even more horrible with the leggings. But I don't think these are meant to be worn together. But let's check the price on this one because now I want to know what what do people normally pay? I paid $10 for this and I'm actually offended. But what do other people pay? <laughs> what do other people pay? So if I were to have bought this new so this, to my, if I remember correctly, this is called an Irma, which, like I said, is an, another name for your period, so that's just brilliant. This is a $35 shirt! What?! Okay, even if the pattern didn't look like carpeting on a cruise ship, like, even if this had the nicest print of all time, what about this is worth $35? That's like, uh... 30 euros about, I guess, like that's, you can get, for, for, for comparison, I brought some of my clothes from my closet out here, uh, and nothing here except this dress from Mod Cloth. None of these dresses are, are 30 euros. I think maybe this one from Indiska, when it wasn't on sale, maybe this was 30 euros. Um, and for comparison, this dress is an S and it fits me really nicely. The pattern is like, if you're into florals, this is fine. Some people might think this looks like a couch. I wear this quite regularly. I love it. Uh, this one here is from City Market, which is like a Finnish Walmart kind of thing or Target. This was 30 euros also, I think, when it wasn't on sale. But I mean, those dresses fit me really well. I got to decide the print. I got to go to the, or the print and the size. I got to go to the store and pick out that specific garment and I didn't have to fight anyone on Facebook for it and I didn't feel pressured into buying it. I got to buy it because I wanted it. But let's see what's in this. So this is the last one for today. I'm gonna have to make another video when my other garments get out of customs. Oh, thank you for your business. You're welcome. This Oh, this is like a postcard about how to give them eBay feedback. Um, okay. You could have just sent me a message and saved yourself the money it costs to make that postcard. But okay. Oh, 
I wasn't expecting the fabric to feel like this. I don't hate this. I like the idea of this pattern, actually, but this fabric is weird. This is a weird choice for a dress fabric. Doesn't it feel like... Blanket? Yeah. It's like a paper towel? It's, it, it feels like a towel. Yeah, it feels like... It feels like a terry cloth towel. But it's a dress. Um, okay. Yeah, well, I, I actually picked this out because of the color. I wanted to see what this would be like, because I, I like the gray and yellow together. Um, and these flowers aren't horrible, so I thought this could actually be something that I could work with and actually incorporate if I liked any of this stuff. Uh, so this is also a 2, 2XS, so double extra small. Uh, not what I would call a double extra small. I would call this small, probably, but I'm not, I'm not them. And this is an Amelia, I think. So this retail price is, this retails for $65. Uh, for comparison, I'm gonna show you guys. This is a dress from Mod Cloth that was also $65. And this is a little bit different. This fabric is really sturdy. There's a slip insert. Um, the zipper is very well concealed. You don't actually see so well that there is a zipper. Uh, the, the seams are not perfect, so things don't perfectly line up, but they don't jump out at you, uh, unless you're really looking at it, that these things don't match. I like this dress a lot. It's pretty okay quality. It's definitely better quality than that. And this was also 65. And in general, I think it's a bit pricey, but if you really love it, it could be worth it. But I don't see how in any circumstance this thing, I can see through it. I would actually be able to, if I pulled it taut enough, I could read through it. Um, so that should not happen with a $65 garment. Um, and again, the the size of the neck area is just strange to me. It's very broad. Uh, so I don't know how this is going to work, but let's try it on. So this isn't so bad. Oh, and there's pockets. Well, okay, credit where credit is due, Lularo. Pockets are great. But, uh... This isn't so bad. I feel like this hits me, like hitting right here is maybe not the best part because I feel like it draws a lot of attention. I would like this to be maybe a little bit up, but that's something I could fix on my own. I don't hate this. The material, I have to say, the material is weird. It's a weird material. Uh, it doesn't feel sturdy either. I don't feel like this would last in the wash. And again, I've heard that LuLaRoe has very specific washing instructions, but I don't know. I, I don't have time for that. So I'm not doing that. Um, it's right, but I would say my biggest concern or criticism would be that my zipper is visible. <laughs> the world will see your zipper in this dress. Uh, and that's not something that you should expect from a $65 garment, that everybody can see your zipper. Uh, they could have done something to try to blend it in a bit, but it just, it sticks out. I'm blind and I can see it when I look in the mirror because it just attracts the light so, so much. So, uh, is this a $20 dress? Probably. I think I paid a little bit under 20 for this with shipping. So, uh, would I pay 20 bucks for this? Maybe, actually. This is kind of pretty close to my style. I like the pockets, I like the brightness, I like the contrast, I like this idea here. Uh, is this a $65 dress? <laughs> no way. Uh, is this a $35 whatever this is? No. This is a... I don't, I don't know what this is, actually. I'm, I'm just, I'm frustrated uh, by this whole concept of whatever this is, and I feel bad for anyone that has had to purchase these. And and I think that that is the thing I would like to close this little clothing experiment with. 
that uh, if someone offers you a business opportunity or a job in which you have to pay $5,000 to invest in inventory that you don't get to choose, you only get to choose or you don't get to choose anything. When you go on LuLaRoe's website, they have the startup packages and they say you get X amount of leggings, X amount of this dress, X amount of this shirt. They all have names, I don't know. Huey, Huey Dewey, Louie, Snap, Crackle, Pop. You get X amount of these and that's it. You don't get to decide what size they are. You don't get to decide the print. Uh, that's not a job, that's a scam. Uh, you're an independent contractor and you're paying them to work for to work for them basically you're paying them five thousand dollars you're getting back inventory which the prices of which are totally artificial and arbitrary and then you don't get to set your own prices you have to sell this forward to people um and the bulk of your money would actually come by getting other people to join the company that's not how things work if you ran your own clothing store you would get to decide which styles you stocked what sizes you stock based on uh, the needs of your customers. If you notice that you have mostly plus size customers, you'd want to stock more plus sizes and so on. You would learn by what customers buy the kinds of styles of garments they're interested in. You would get to decide your inventory if you had your own clothing store. You wouldn't have to buy 12 of whatever these are and then sell them for $35 and stand there and say, yeah, this is a $35 garment, even though it's see-through practically, it has no shape, the arms are for a child, and it looks like a cruise ship carpet. Uh, you could just decide not to carry that at all and not have that item in your collection because nobody wants it anyway. Um, companies like this prey on women who are desperate, who are insecure, who are feeling down about the fact that they're stay-at-home moms, or feeling down about the fact that their husband or wife makes all the income, and you know they want to, they they too want to be a part of it. And then there's the whole culture around it. You know, it becomes a bit cult-like. I've I've seen posts on on Pinterest and Instagram now about people hiding their purchases from their husband. Like they buy a bunch of this crap full price, and then they hide it from their husband, and the person they bought it from writes a note that says they want it. So. If you have a hobby that requires you to lie to your husband um, to hide how much of his money you're spending on clothing that is frankly nice-ish but not that nice, that's really bad. That's not how a normal f functioning friendship slash relationship slash whatever works. And you shouldn't do that. And I feel like there's nothing wrong with these clothes except this thing, this is horrible. Um, if you like them, if this is your style, even if this thing is your style for whatever reason, do it. Go for it. Have fun. But don't lie to your husband or wife or mom or dad. Don't lie to anybody about it. And uh, don't try to bring other people down with you. Because um, style is subjective. You can wear what you want. You probably hate this lipstick or this hair. I don't care. It's my thing and I pay for it and I'm happy. But I'm also not trying to convince you that you should have pink hair or pink lipstick. Um, and, and that's sort of the most important thing. Is that it's for you and that you do you. But don't try to force it on anybody else. And uh, I would highly... Con uh, yeah. And I would highly encourage you to do a little bit of research before you buy any of this stuff. Um, full price. Buy a similar style on eBay. See if you even like how it fits. See if you can even get it to fit. Because um, I'm wearing a 2 extra small right now. And I feel like if I would have bought this in a medium, which was my original inclination, I would be swimming in it. But at the same time, this is a 2 extra small and it's huge on me. And... Frankly, uh, if you're buying stuff from a brand, sizes should be consistent. And that is what you pay for when you pay for a higher price point, you're paying for consistency. When I buy stuff from H&M, like this dress, this is also pretty see-through, you know, not the best quality, just a standard stretch cotton dress. When I bought this for 10 euros, um, I knew what I was getting. I was getting a 10 euro dress and it might be that another H&M 10 euro dress also doesn't fit the same um, as, as, as this one. But when you're spending 10 euros and you're choosing it yourself, it's different. But when somebody is essentially forcing you to buy this, and the worst part is, 
The worst part about LuLaRoe, in my opinion, is when you get a garment like this that doesn't fit you and looks bad, they tell you to put a knot in it. So they tell you to take this part and then put a, put a nickel in it and then make this into some kind of big old knot to give you some shape. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> that is also drawing attention to, possibly drawing attention to an area that a lot of people feel self-conscious about, which is your stomach. When you're trying to flatter yourself and kind of mask these problem areas that you feel you have, what you want to do is take the eye away from them, not draw the eye in by putting a big giant thing next to your gut. That's a horrible idea. It's the same reason why I don't wear fanny packs, because like, I don't want people looking here. Why would I put things here? End rant. Sorry. I'll be uploading another one of these videos once I get the other stuff in that I ordered. In the meantime, if you want this, it's yours. The first person to send me their address will get this and a candy bar, because this is horrible. Thank you.